outside in the Fox lot talking with our garden guru, Derek Thomas, of course, of Thomas Landscapes. And today we're talking about bringing the beauty from outside into our homes and into our drawers, making things smell nice and all that kind of stuff. Right. That didn't it's, sound right, but you'll explain it. It's, you? it's, well, it's <laughs> everlasting because, you know, so many times you think about it and flowers are fleeting. Mm -hmm. And there are particular flowers that Mother Nature has made appropriate for us to bring indoors and enjoy everlasting. Love it. Most of the grasses that you see can absolutely be harvested by simply, the best way to do grasses is to simply cut each one like this. And then with the grasses, what I like to do with grasses and cattails and things like that, use a spray adhesive because what will happen with a grass is it will start to disseminate its seeds, which is what the attractive piece is to us, okay. even after it's been harvested. So use a spray adhesive for that. Things like allium. This is Schuberti. And look at how wonderful oh, and so structural pretty. that is, yes. isn't it? Uh -huh. Now what about if you're having dinner guest and you want to turn it into oh, yeah. some centerpieces? Beautiful. And what I've done here, this is two other types of alliums, mm -hmm. and depending on the function, you can even do it in a dried arrangement. Mm -hmm. These will last four years indoors. This one with a little bit of gold paint, this one with a little bit of black paint. So pretty and creative. Now, what about roses? Roses, we love roses in our garden, you know, and we pick them and we like to smell them. Mm -hmm. The one thing that you can do with roses is you can add this as potpourri, and you can buy a rose oil. A rose oil is uh, available at most places that sell any of the essential oils, and use that, or, you know, what about if you were to just have this as a sachet in the bathroom? Perfect. Wonderful. Perfect. Creating a sachet out of lavender, that's a great, great, great idea. And here's the best thing. Get the kids involved. Remember the old phone book? Sure. Yeah. Remember. <laughs> well, this was actually a card that was purchased at Papyrus where they flattened a rose mm -hmm. and did that. This is one that I've done here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take an orchid blossom. We're going to take this. This is, you can buy this at any store. It's a laminating. Mm -hmm. It's a self-laminating kit. We're going to lay the orchid in there. We're going to flatten that out like that. Mm -hmm. Try to get all the air out that you can. Now, what I got was this is a, you can use, this is um, a pencil holder, but it's actually to put photos in. Okay. But what about if you got the kids uh, to do this? Yeah. And then that's the greatest, Beautiful. even a gift for a teacher or what right. have you. You've got the orchid pressed in there. I love and it's that. a wonderful, wonderful gift idea. Great idea. Eucalyptus, really quickly. Love it. You can now grow it in your garden. Instead of having the eucalyptus like this, harvest it, dry it, and turn it into a wonderful centerpiece mm. that's going to last. For months. Eucalyptus is always my favorite. I love how it smells. And especially if I did it myself, I would love that too. It's, it's great. And okay. so this way you can enjoy your garden. Right. We're coming up to the the midsummer. Right. What about in winter, enjoying a great bouquet of eucalyptus? And throwing some other things in. And Derek, I must admit, when I saw that, I thought that it was one of the things that you made. No, no. This is actually, this is Mother Nature at her finest. That's amazing. It's an allium. It's in the onion family, and it's called Schuberti. Right. Schuberti. Okay. More things I have never heard of, but I'm learning thanks to my good friend, Derek Thomas of Thomas Landscapes. And if you want any of these tips, and these are all great ones, Father's Day is coming up. Father's Day That would be up. fabulous right? for Father's Day. Yeah, because you can get the kids involved. The kit, I got the little the self-laminating kit at Staples. Okay. The little, um, the little um, pencil holder was also sold there. You can do it yourself, and that's a great desktop item. He'll think about the kids for the next year to come. That. That's very neat. Okay, all these tips on myfoxdc.com and more because we're going to link it to Derek, and you know he's got, like, tips for 16 years. <laughs> all right, we'll be right back. Thanks.